Welcome back to Collider Live, the best show on the damn YouTubes. Also, apparently, a place we make up new dance moves all the time. It's our Rena Riley Roca Roxy kind of day in his house. That's because it is currently Christmas Eve right now. I am Roxy Stryer sitting across from the most evil of all time, Darina. Feliz Navidad. Uh, I guess. I don't really like Christmas, but I hope what? everybody's having a good time. It's better than not happy Christmas. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, I wish everybody a happy Christmas. Mm-hmm. Already off to good a good timing, start. timing, Cody. Mark Riley in the house. Merry Christmas, everybody. I feel like you're a Christmas nut. I am a Christmas nut. I am Clark W. Griswold when it comes to Christmas. I need it all perfect. I'm going to put up the biggest tree you can. I'm going to put lights everywhere. And if the lights don't work, I'm going to probably yell and scream and throw uh, Santa Claus statues so you're like into the sky. Anti Scrooged. Anti Scrooged? Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, yeah. I don't like it already. John Roca. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shitter's full, Riley. Thank you. Damn, uh, I'm right. excited. What about was that? that uh, full. What was that initial dance move you wanted to show us? I just follow whatever my body tells me to do. I yeah. liked it. So what was it telling you there? To shoot my chest out and jam my hands forward mm. and then move in rhythm to make well, sure I bounce both sides. That was good. Are and I love really Christmas. It's, yeah. it's the only holiday I celebrate every year. Well, we're going to well, talk about it quite a lot today. How's your girlfriend today? feel about that? She Valentine's loves it. Day. Okay. Really? Valentine's Day? She don't dig on Valentine's Day. My girl's very, every day's Valentine's Day, dog. I love oh, the way. What is this voice? Like, you don't dig on Valentine's Day. Especially when you watch it. Every day is Valentine's Day, dog. That's why you can ask any Valentine's Day. Why not? Cody Hall, are you a Christmas nut? Yeah, sure. It's a it's a thing that happens. I enjoy being joyful, right? <laughs> right? So who would being hate joyful. That? It's so I happy. guess. Me. I guess. Alex Marzonia, Christmas much? I love Christmas. Christmas is great. I, I can't, love spending time with family. I cannot picture Alex not loving Christmas. Yeah. Like if you said no, I hate Christmas, we would have had some uh, explaining to do. Cool. Okay, okay. I, guess, I guess I'm the I guess, only Grinch yeah. that well, I, I, apparently. This is why I can't throw to Alex on the mic, because he will give me one, and then if I come back, Oof. he won't give me any more. Mm-hmm. You only get it's one. It's Christmas, yo. It's, maybe let him... What made you actually... <laughs> what? What? <laughs> This is the weirdest show already. Should we start over? I, I think guess. we should. Oh. I mean, it's like, uh, first, one, get your Christmas all, priorities not, straight, Darina. What? I am you the Grinch. You gotta like Christmas. I'm the Grinch. I can't help it. I love when Roxy's First of all, I love when Roxy's First of all, let's talk. It is December 16th. <laughs> The people are watching us on Christmas, but I don't have to treat Alex any differently. It is December 16th. Fair enough, fair enough. Second of all, I stand correct. I'm a Jew. Oh, no, right. So I right. play by no Christmas rules. That's true. That's very true. Although, when you are watching this, it is Hanukkah right now. So we're in the middle of that. It started on the 22nd. So you are now on the 22nd, the 3rd, 24th. You're on the third night of Hanukkah. Is it Congratulations. Weird? How long eight, is it? Eight, eight days. Crazy, eight, crazy eight crazy nights. nights. Right. Mm, that's where it comes from. Uh, and is it week Hanukkah? Hanukkah. I feel like you said uh, Kwanzaa is a week. Okay. Kwanzaa seven. Hanukkah is, we get eight. Mm. I did hear somebody describe Hanukkah the other day as eight days of Christmas. That I, made me feel really <laughs> ill. That was inside. Not correct. The Jew in me uh, wanted to cry a little bit in there. But here's the deal with Christmas time, guys. Mm. I get it. I see you guys. I get it. Who doesn't want to have a Thank tree? Thank you for seeing us. I don't. Like Santa, he's like nope. jolly and stuff. I get it, fine. But I don't get it. Okay. I don't uh, either. Wait, uh, I get it, but I don't get it. Yeah. I don't know whether it's because I'm not, I feel left out or what, but. You don't have to be left out. I so you do, never. I, I am left out. You don't though. have to be them. But you, you've never gone anywhere where you've opened presents under a tree with a family because you've always, you've Absolutely never celebrated. Absolutely never been invited to do that. What? Aww. Absolutely never been invited to do that. You can come you to wanna, my house. You uh, I, come to- I did go. So here's the deal. My. <laughs> also, Christmas <laughs> music makes Christmas, Christmas, Christmas music, music is, wanna, is the worst. It makes me want to off myself. It's the worst. What? It's, it's the worst. You what? Too. Okay. It's the worst. Yeah. Unless it's Bruce Let's Springsteen, I can't. I or can't. the Home Alone soundtrack. No. Or Christmas no. music is the best. No, I take back what I said. I did date, so Ben Bateman, also Jewish, um, celebrates Christmas. There's some Christmas celebrating Jews out there. I've, I've never understood it. Did but you it, just out him as a Jew? Okay, cool. Mm. Go ahead. Mm. <laughs> 
<laughs> closeted Jew. Uh, wow. It is actually interesting because 90% of the people don't know he's Jewish, and everybody yep. who knows me knows I'm Jewish. He's Every, never worn. If yep. anybody knows me, they know I'm Jewish. I say it so loudly, so proudly, and I don't know. He's got like a thing with it. But, it's the first time so, I realized yeah. he's yeah. Jewish. Thank yeah. you. So yeah. yeah, I guess I did just out yeah. him. But well, he does celebrate Christmas, and I did go many a Christmases and, and watch them do the Christmas thing. Did you get a gift? You did not open gifts with them? Well, Ben and I like exchanged gifts, but like as part of Hanukkah. But you still got a gift, though. Under so you still get gifts. Not, during, not under tree. But you still get gifts during Hanukkah, though. You get like a little gift. Like, can you explain so, it to me? Because I don't know much about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so <laughs> the Festival of Lights will be lighting candles for the next eight nights. Have you seen like a dreidel mm-hmm. or anything like that? Dreidel, the menorah. Dreidel. Yeah. Um, I'll, I will, on Hanukkah, oh, we won't be here. I would have brought in my menorah and shown you guys how we do it. Oh, um, yeah. Can you it do like it that. anyway? Why does she keep saying it like that? Hanukkah. 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 I don't go with the Salvador. correct way. Nicaragua. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys say? It's Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Han- Hanukkah. Yeah. But yeah. you do the throat. Do Han- it, well, that's what it is. It's a different letter. That's what I mean. Oh, so yeah. that's Fair. a different that's letter. It's fair. not. So it's that's the letter. The letter is huh. Yeah. Oh. Not, CH, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we would write it at that, but you can spell it either way. The reason you guys ever see Hanukkah spelled, see, I did it like you guys, um, many different ways. Yeah, because like Shanukah, it, because it's not a direct CH. translation. Oh. That's why sometimes it's a ch, sometimes it's an h, because we that. don't have the letter that they Got have. It, okay. Um, okay. So it is. It's Hanukkah. Hanukkah, Hanukkah. is the okay. festival of lights. It's kind of like the X in Spanish. I get, like Mexico in Spanish is Mexico, right? But mm. like the X mm. sounds different. It's like oh. instead of Hulk. well, it, it's almost more like an enye because it's a letter we literally don't have. Okay, you don't know what I mean. It. Don't forget the enye. Yo, Yo, I actually saw. Yo, so Dorina now. sent me. Uh, this is a story for a different time. But Dorina no sent more. me a Google yeah. Doc that had your name on it, Alex, and there was no Enya. No, oh, there wasn't. I saw there, but no, but I and I knew that, but I was writing it fast, and we didn't have time. It doesn't mean that I don't know how to spell your there name. There was no Enya. There was no Enya. But I know it's Marzonia. I like that. No, what you said was Marzonia. Oh, in Marzona. the document where I didn't have time because I was working on other stuff. Right? Outed See, God damn you, it. just the way I added Ben for being a Jew. What up? Well, you can't uh, out me for being a Grinch because everyone knows. So we did. We totally the celebrated hell? Hanukkah growing up. <laughs> uh, now I'm self-conscious about the way I say it, so I'm just going to say Hanukkah. Um, Hanukkah. You say it however you want. Yeah. Thank you. We, it's a free country. We did celebrate it growing up, but my dad grew up Orthodox and then turned atheist. Okay. So he had, oh, a, he ha- I had a hard time with us celebrating it in the house because... I when you are forced to grow up extremely orthodox, I think it probably has some bad lasting effects on you. So he right. didn't like it, but my mom would always celebrate with us. Uh, she was a reformed Jew, and we got presents for the the eight nights of Hanukkah. It depends on what it was, but like uh, anything from the big the first night and the last night were the biggest. So we would get the biggest presents then. In between then, maybe like. A little gift card or chocolate or something like that. So you guys have to get each other presents as well. Yeah, no, it's not as much like we copied that part from you. Okay, because I was Hanukkah, gonna say Hanukkah <laughs> is not about gift giving in any way. We just were like, oh, those bitches get gifts. We want gifts. Okay, that makes oh, sense. Okay. Because here's the yeah. thing: these motherfuckers over here yeah. having a party. We won't mm-hmm. end. Because Christmas is like about gift giving partially. Christmas right? is partially. All, partially. not the whole it's thing, but it's partially. partially. It's basically consumerism. That's oh why. God. Here we go. I'm just There's saying. Scrap. If you watch on Carpenters, they live. It is. Ex- oh. It's basically what it, it is. Obey, consume. It's like you don't. Nobody needs any of these things. Dorina, so was this is your, Halloween. Yeah. Was this your uh, upbringing? No, nobody, nobody needs to buy anything. Nobody needs to buy anything. I agree. The societal pressure. What are you talking about? That's not consumerism. Where's you're walking around Christmas the mall music. with Christmas <laughs> music and joy? Mood. They're forcing joy on you when you're stressed out about the year ending. You're and you so have smart. To... You ring up the lights. Just <laughs> nothing like the holidays <laughs> to bring you together. <laughs> Darina, is this like ingrained in you from a being a child? Did, no, here's the did thing. Your I actually hate Christmas. No, I actually had really good, nice Christmas. Uh, like mm. all we did was hang out with the family and watch Home Alone. Mm-hmm. I, I have no complaints there. We were we had. The uh, the only few like good Christmas music albums like Vince Guaraldi you know the, yeah, the Charlie the Brown stuff, stuff yeah. like but with my family it was small we just had our tamales that are fantastic it was my favorite uh, op- present to open is that for a, my tamales. grandma is that a Christmas thing oh yeah. Oh yeah, we eat like Mexicans eat, love tamales on Christmas. In, in Christmas. Yeah, like it's, it's like so the way good. that Americans do ham on Christmas. Yes, Mexicans yes, do tamales. Tama- it's just Christmas time, December. All the abuelitas are cooking she tamales. She doesn't say tamales. 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 Yeah, tamales. I'm just saying. Yeah. Hanukkah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. You're yeah. like, why aren't you criticizing yeah. her for not speaking American? I don't, I don't like getting hated on when <laughs> nobody else is. Ha ha, tamales. <laughs> yeah, you can say Keep however going. you want yeah, to. Yeah, you though. can. I was just asking. No, no, it's, it's completely fair. Keep it's going. actually tamales. So you, but you said it's your favorite present. Like you would open up the tamales. Well, no, you have to open them to eat them. Remember, because they're oh. wrapped in the thing. Get it? It was just a bad joke. Tight. But um, no, no we had, we joke. had. I have nice memories from like watching Home Alone with my family and watching Gremlins and all that stuff. Did you um, go to church? No, no, we didn't really. La no. Iglesia? We, no. No, no, my mom wasn't religious, really. I, w- I went to Catholic school, mm. but but my mom didn't really take us to Mass. What does school do at Christmas? Or are you not in school at that time? Um, I guess we, well, no, yeah, we have the two-week break, but for, for, for Christmas during school, like, everybody also does, like, crafts and shit like that when we were kids, right? Like, I don't mm-hmm. like any of that stuff. Mm. But my point is, as I got older and I moved to this country, and it was all about... Every like early December, going to the mall with like some shitty Taylor Swift cover of Whams, like last Christmas, and you're and you're they're forcing you to buy stuff for everybody. And I'm like, I don't, first of all, I'm a purger. I'm not a hoarder. I don't want. I don't want need anything. Nobody needs anything. Nobody needs all of these gadgets like the the most recent iPhone. You just need food and friends and music and laughter and dance. It's consumerism. Is all yep. I'm saying. People all right. are watching us on iPhones. I don't yeah, like it. I, mean, I like consumer. Hey, Please geez. keep consuming. <laughs> no, <laughs> obey, consume. No. Uh, Mark, talk to me about. I, I feel like it's a little different than Doreen's Christmas <laughs> experience. <laughs> talk to me about you. A lot different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, come from a family. We would go to church on on Christmas Eve to celebrate, and then we would have dinners and families on Christmas Eve. We would do it then again on another side of the family on Christmas Day. We'd go to my grandmother's at the end of the day. So it was always, when Christmas arrives, I just know it's going to be family and it's going to be presents and it's going to be good food and it's going to be wine and some cider and Christmas movies and Christmas trees. And oh my God, I'm so excited. What's what's the food? What you got? So I know we were talking about cookies. There was uh, tamales now is a new tradition that Julie and her mom have, have introduced me and to. And how lucky is are that, you? Are you telling the truth? I am dead serious. Uh, Julie's mom makes uh, homemade tamales and brings them she, to us. He has already said this and promised us some. Yeah, I yeah. can't believe that all three of you will be eating tamales. On, no, well, that's not Yeah, I'm gonna, it's, it's going to be Christmas but night. I don't know. You said tamales, yeah. Didn't not you? Not all the same. No. <laughs> you, were exci- <laughs> you were excited about the tamales that no, she said. No, because those tama- I love tamales. They're oh. great. I thought well, you were like. Me too. And and Julie's and mom good makes them good kind really of me good. Too. Yeah. They're really good. I'm sure they are. My dad does like a buffet. Um, <laughs> there's also we we usually do turkey. We like an, we like Thanksgiving part two. Oh yeah. Um, because I'm not I'm not big on ham for Christmas. I don't I don't like the ham. Yeah. Uh, I like sandwiches with ham, but not like just ham. Hmm. You know. I love the ham. But what's you know your like favorite? Ham? Is that your Christmas thing? That, That's my ham. Though. I don't. But I what's ham. your favorite part of Christmas? Yeah. The food. Spank the ham. I this might sound cheesy, but my favorite is actually giving gifts. I Aww. love I do love giving gifts to really cute. my it's fiance, awesome. okay. to my family. Do you do I'm, cards? Like, I do cards, yeah, big time on cards. Um getting the whole Christmas tree, that's a big thing for oh, me. Yeah. I like that. I mean I like injured myself on my Christmas tree this pat this year because Julie's like, I want that one and I had to climb over mountains of Christmas trees at the Home Depot Center yeah, there. Yeah, were you basically uh, you're using your inner Chevy Chase? Pretty much. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if that thing was fucking buried in the ground, I would pull it out and uh, roots and all and put it up and a lot of sap. Get it, Russ. Full. Get it out, Russ. You're yeah. sappy you already. Just you the, don't need I more. You just did the bad gesture. Yeah, yeah, I know. I saw that, and I didn't know what to say. No, but oh, you know God. what's funny? You guys watched okay. that video with the... I saw. I sent it to you guys. Yeah. This was now a week ago. I mean, uh, what the actual They knew what they were doing. Obviously, they, they knew what They knew exactly what they were doing. Yeah. The Army Navy thing? Yeah. 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 They came after yeah. me. I posted about it on Twitter. They came, I took the tweet down because people were going did crazy you really? on yeah. me. People are like, you're being an idiot. It's an it's a gotcha game. And I was like, no, they knew Guys, exactly what are you doing. talking no, about? Not, no, there are so not. many articles hard. about it. You know anyway. what? Uh, Merry Christmas, John. I know yep. that right now you are not eating ham. You are not eating uh, tamales. No, I'm not eating you tamales. Are eat- oh, you are eating ham. We do eat ham. You're eating ham, not tamales. Right, right. Well, usually I fly, when I go home for Christmas, I'll fly to Virginia. Oh, tomorrow. yeah, you spanked the ham. Yeah, that yeah. meant you were eating Where ham. That's right. Where is home in Virginia? Virginia. Virginia. Virginia, Northern Virginia. Okay. So, so you're like home Dale City. right now? Uh, not usually. No, this year we're not. We're staying this year. Mm. We went home last year. And when we go, when I go home, uh, we have a- When you a, say we- my, my girlfriend and I. She went with you last year? Yes, she did. We had a great time. Wow. Yeah, it's been over a year. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we had a really great time. Uh, and So we, she came home with you. You guys m- must not have been together that long. Yeah, <laughs> that's, maybe. That's a Hello? big, like, you could drive a truck <laughs> through that. like- 
That was a very suspenseful. No, because it was like live show. We, we, live yeah, tape. Live tape. <laughs> uh, no, we got together. It's been a year, over a year. Yeah. So we yes, got sir. together in but July. And, okay. then, and so, then you, so you took together her for a few months, and you took her home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you took her home for Christmas after a few months. Yeah, yeah, of course. My mom immediately fell in love with it. Immediately. They both like peas in a pot. My sister, okay. too. Uh, nice. They were both like, both loved him. So, why not this year? Uh, because we kind of, we money wise, we kind of want to stay home. And also because, like, we're transitioning into our own Christmas. And, right. you know, mom's getting older and I'm only going to see her so many times. So, I'd like to k- keep that time, like, precious and special. So, going home every year to me, I like to delay it a little bit. And so, I want to spend Wait, time mom- building up our memories before. Uh, and, and balance that out with building up memories of my mom. Uh, on, honest question, I'm yeah. confused. Your mom is getting older, so you want to spend less time with her at the <laughs> no, holidays? No, yeah, right. Kind of like make it more special. Yeah, so a gap that's, year. That's, that was my question too, Roxy. <laughs> wait, wait, so, wait. Uh, good one. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. yeah. So I don't. I so because your it. mom is getting older, you want to spend less time with Look, her. I am what the age. Of, make I've new spent memories. Many with Christmases your... with my mom. <laughs> we have those memories already. There's nothing new to be mined here. Um, and uh, and so joy, with, you guys, joy, 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 joy. With my girlfriend, I have to build new memories with my girlfriend for Christmas. <laughs> so we decided we'd stay this year and try out LA. All, uh, you know, staying up. <laughs> okay, so now so, I know um, how you're gonna feel when we get older. You're gonna hang out less with us. I'll be dead by the time yeah, we get older. Let's so, see how he does now. Alex, thoughts on that? Mm-hmm. Alex is twelve. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's What's up, boys? It's your boy Dorian. Alex. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, he's really not going to say anything. He's, not, he's, not he's gonna just going to yeah. talk about Dorian the whole time. Way to go, Rox. Wow. Yeah. Cody. Good Lord. Hey, Roxy, how you doing? Cody? <laughs> <laughs> you got a question for me? How you feel about um, the logic of John Roper? <laughs> oh, I don't understand it at all. But, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to tell a guy he's wrong until yeah. he wants to live. Yeah. yeah. But it, it is so, uh, just to get real for a, a second. When are you not real, Rox? No, no, real, That's true. real, like, not fun, real, real, oh. like, real, like, uh, whatever. Dark. As somebody who's lost a, a parent yeah. before, I would not think that that would be your response. No, I mean, I my mom and I have always been tight. Mm-hmm. So it's never, my dad and I were, that was a uh, tumultuous relationship. But my mom and I have always been tight. But do so you, we've always spent time together. Is it, is it hard for you to see her getting older? Is that of course why it you're is. struggling okay. with? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, that is tough. That is tough. Yeah. How yeah. old is your mom? Stop talking to me about it. Yeah. Uh, um, what? I'm sorry. My mom is 75. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. I, about yeah, your relationship I love with my your mom. mom. <laughs> I love my mom to pieces. <laughs> I get it. So it's tough. So I think if I keep a little. You want bit the tough, holidays but, to be about holiday spirit, and it's, it can be challenging. Right. right there. And so we're gonna fly in for a birthday though in, uh-huh. in August. We decided we're gonna do that. We talked about that actually because we had a Christmas card this weekend, which I had never done before. Which is this? Did you watch the? It's a half Jew, half Jewish. Sorry, half uh, Jewish, half of Christmas. Like you go and celebrate both. Yeah, it's a, uh, the OC. Ooh, Rock. It. it was that's weird. Right. Oh, that's right. I've never yeah. done that before. It was California. interesting. California. You're in a house all day mm. talking to people. Oh. So you day enjoyed it. Long. Yeah. It was fun, and then it wasn't, and then it was. <laughs> Have you guys ever had latkes? They made latkes fresh there. What do you think? I like the potato cakes. No. What's your favorite? Have you that ever had that? Pause, no, I don't though. even know what that is. That I, I was just pause. gonna ask what your favorite <laughs> food is well. that you have so oh. during we, Hanukkah. We usually do uh brisket. Ooh. Oh, um, nice yeah. choice. Yeah, we do amazing beef brisket and Damn, uh, and we'll do latkes, which they're not, it's not like latkes are amazing. It's just an, a nice add on. Like it's a potato pancake, is what it yeah, is. It so sounds pretty good. You fry it, it's fried potatoes. Yeah. It's not. It's nothing like, what is that? You'd right. be like, oh yeah, this tastes like any other potato <laughs> breakfasty thing you've ever had before. <laughs> but the brisket's bomb, and usually if you put in like, Carrots and onions and potatoes and that too. Uh, they're really, really yeah, good. And now Boston. you're making me hungry. Yeah. Well, I don't go home anymore for the holidays. Um, I, I go, was going to ask. I I have to choose Thanksgiving or, or Christmas right. time oh, because it's just too expensive. It is. Gotcha. And so I went for Thanksgiving um, because m- like my dad doesn't even celebrate the holidays. Like I said before. Right, right, right. Do you celebrate while you're here with other people? So I I guess maybe not. My sister and I are trying to go somewhere. Hopefully, right now, oh, as right. I'm, rec- as you guys are watching this, hopefully, I am currently in Florida. Okay. Mm. okay. I yeah. hope. I hope, I hope you are there too. Yeah. About me. Is your yeah. sister in Florida. I wanted to go to Mexico. Um, no, she's in Boston, but we're trying to meet up together okay. and do something for Christmas. Is Mexico too far away for her? N- it's not that it's too far for her. It's the part that's far for her is close to me, and vice versa. So, yeah. like, she can get to Cancun easily. I can get to Cabo easily. And for me to get to Cancun, it's thousands of dollars. For her to get to Cabo, yeah. it's thousands so of dollars. So you chose Florida. That makes Florida sense. is a little more. It's still a what? beach there. Yeah. What's the issue? Why is it? Uh, what's the problem? Why can't you guys meet up? It's really expensive. 
Mm-hmm. Especially mm-hmm. holiday I'll trips, man. Out. I'll figure something out for you. We're working on it. We're working on it. But I, I think that the holidays are a great time, even if you can't go anywhere, to stay home, mm-hmm. to take off work if you can, to chill. Like I, I like to refresh. Then have some cocktails, you know. I recharge my battery. Thing. Yeah, it's a serious. Do you guys feel recharge. this like me? Yeah, it's so you as it. you're going towards the end of the year, like where we are now, yeah. even Christmas Eve. You're, it's like time for some rest. Yeah, it's but not a party time but, anymore. Yeah. But with the holidays are so busy, that's why I don't like Christmas as much. I look, I love the part so where I'm with, me, where I'm with family. Yeah. Like I love hanging out with my family. That's great. But it's also it's still hanging out with family or other people during the holidays. All the holiday parties, like mm. whatever closing end of the year for all the companies, it's still exhausting. So so to have that time to hibernate and decompress by myself would be very nice. I got to say yeah. I don't I get that. I need that too. I already did the holiday parties. The holiday parties in LA are like the first week of December. Right. In the second week of December. Ours is this week. Mm-hmm. Oh, the, no, yeah. it was. Well, at this point, it was last week. Oh, ours yeah. is last week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're like Dr. Manhattan. I thought you were, we're saying, like, saying um, that you we, had a party and I wasn't everything. invited. I Whatever you're talking about. time in such a weird way. <laughs> Cody, what are you doing right now on Christmas Eve? Right now, I think I am driving down to the OC. Oh, yeah. And California. California. Yeah. I'm going go. out to uh, Lake Forest. From, oh, hello. <laughs> There oh, it is. What a great song. Let's just talk what about is, the OC, guys. Yeah, yeah. I love the OC. Is there, is there ever a struggle of whose family you guys spend Christmas with? Uh, we normally split as much as we can. Uh, so in the morning, I'll go down to, like, uh, Hemet, which is about 50 miles away from where I live. And then I'll drive yeah. up another 50 miles at night to go to Lake Forest. And my car goes through a lot of gasoline. Oof. It's a great time, though. Kind of sounds a lot like what I used to do with my family before my grandmother passed and mm. my grandfather passed. We were going, Hemet. That's where my great grandmother was, dude. Uh, we Do you would guys go all make the up time. a place? No, no it's where I've a lot been of there. Go. Yeah, my Hemet. friend lives there. Yeah, it's all, it's east of us a little bit. Hemet was also where my uh, dog Leia was found. Oh, oh. Yeah. I'm gonna let you guys know this right now. I'm gonna try this one more time. We'll see how it goes. If it doesn't go well, I'll never try it again. Alex. Okay. Where are you right now on Christmas Eve? On Christmas Eve, I'm just at home hanging out with the parents and uh, my brother and his new girlfriend. All right. But on Christmas, that's when I uh, we go meet up with all the extended family, the cousins, aunts, and uncles, and uh, have dinner, have a uh, watch movie or one or two. Alex, best you've ever been, babe. Best yeah, you've ever you. been. So good. You just Ooh. made her so happy, oh, yes, Alex. Alex. Oh yes, Alex. Oh hey, Alex. Uh, <laughs> oh yes, Alex. Oh my God! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, oh. yeah! Alex. John, do you do uh, do you do church? No, I don't go to. I've stopped going to church when I was sixteen, seventeen years old. Mark, uh, I haven't gone to church in years. Yeah, <laughs> booth boys. Uh, but you, we used to. Nope. Uh, if my parents are watching, yes. Uh, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 Watch Darina be the one who says yes. Yeah, Darina, you go to church. Are on you Christmas, serious? Right? I'll, I'll melt if I walk into a church. I can't. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I always I always wanted to uh, go. I'm curious if that means we turn the phone line on or you're just screaming at Darina dying. Mm. No, that, that, like, that was her entering oh, a church. Okay. I've been yeah. home in That's years. basically what happened. Let, yeah. Cody, can you explain, explain the joke? Explain the joke yep. again. Let's <laughs> take, yeah. Oh, boy. Cody, let's take some calls, though. I know that we it. were going to tell people how to do that, but they they can't hear us live. Hopefully they just know intrinsically. Alex Hopefully. is tweeting it right we, now. We're tweeting. Thank you, Alex. Yeah. We're yeah, tweeting that out. We're tweeting that, that I, shit out. I will now. say I'm really glad that Collider gave us the opportunity to do this pre-tape today because mm. – I the thought of somebody being alone on Christmas, even though I do have a black heart most of the time, like you, Darina, and am Jewish, uh, which means that Christmas shouldn't mean as much to me. The thought of somebody being alone on Christmas and not having anybody to spend it to does make my heart yeah. hurt a little bit. And I, I hope that if you are listening to this on Christmas Eve and you weren't able to make it home to your family or you this year something financially or you're just in an argument with everybody, whatever it is, uh, hopefully this helps a little bit. You're uh, not alone because you have us dorks yeah. to hang out with totally. right now. Yeah, totally, totally. Yeah, black heart? No, you don't. You I don't for think saying you have a black all of that. Arms. All oh, of that. Okay, good. You have yeah. a heart of gold. That stopped Roxy. me. I'm like, black? really, really, Rox? I think you like to think you're black. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I think. You, you, whoa, <laughs> wait. Hello. You're gonna sound by that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do, not I do not approve. I do not approve. It is the I gift. do not approve of you soundbite. It is the gift that keeps on giving us <laughs> California. You know we just got soundbite. Sound 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 this is California. Christmas. I'm allowed to say. <laughs> I don't actually think I do. I think I'm like a, a very to toot my own horn for a second. I think I care so much about the people I care about yes. that, it, that it hurts. Yes. Mm. I I am. Uh, 
cold to some things, though. I find mm. I well, don't. Sure. We all are. Yeah, but um, not but not to people though. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like you're a very kind person to other well, human beings. Good. I appreciate that. We've had our things. Um, <laughs> I mean, not to acquaintances, but at to this friends. Point, we've already <laughs> sat together at cats. We have. So. Oh, at this point, we have yeah. sat together. Well, well, how how did, did it go, guys? What did you think of cats, by the yeah, way? I you thought think? it was incredible. It was so what a surprise! It's the best movie of the year. You know what? That It'll ending. be my favorite memory of the year. Oh, oh. Thank you, thank I you. agree. Taylor mm. Swift was so good. She was sexy as hell. Do you think she deserves an Oscar nomination? I do. Taylor Swift in Hello. Yeah. One question for you: Are you if you if it doesn't work out for you for Christmas, are you staying in town? Yeah. Uh, do you have plans on Christmas Day? Um. Well, no. I don't. I'm hoping I'm not here. But if I am, then no, I definitely then have no plans. Then you can come and hang out with my my group of friends. We always do a, a Christmas wa- movie marathon on Christmas Day. Ooh. Make food, open presents, whatever. Well, I want to come. Like I would no love pressure. to. But the one thing that I do do every Christmas do do is, do do uh, on Christmas I have to eat Chinese food. Do you guys <gasps> of know? Course. You know That's that tradition. Yeah. Why is that? But that's a great idea. That's that's a Jew thing, man. That's some yeah. Christmas story we, action there too. Oh really? Mm-hmm. We do that. Oh my God! Every Christmas you have to eat Chinese food or, and bowls. watch movies, yep. or something happens to you. Yep. Like uh, it's not a good setup Damn, for the next year. What's your that. What's your movies that you're you're putting on? Uh, probably Elf, Christmas Vacation, yeah. Love Actually, <laughs> Die Hard, and then. Do you think that means we have a call? I think yeah, so. Yeah, let's do it. Both, guys. It's both. I did both. Oh, good timing. Good timing. Good timing. And we have a call. Caller, you are on Collider Live. What's your name? And it's currently Christmas Eve, so where are you calling from? <laughs> My name's Chris. I'm calling from Cincinnati. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Hi. Chris, what are you doing this Christmas Eve? Um, I'm hanging out with my wife and her family and my stepson. Good man. Great. Cool. Just hanging out with the family. I love that. What do you got for us uh, today, Chris? Um, where I met my stepmom for her, her big family Christmas. Lots of brothers and sisters. We do a secret Santa exchange. Nice. Mm. Okay. What do, you, uh, what do you guys like to do on Christmas? Do you have any special Christmas traditions you guys like to do every Christmas? Mm, we we were talking a little bit about this. Thank you so much for the call, Chris. Really appreciate it. We were talking a little bit about where we will be, but is there any weird traditions that you guys do? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And it's, it's <laughs> what is what? Well, please do tell. So nervous. thankfully, there now there are, there are small children that are accompanying us, like my niece and my and uh, my new step. Nephews through me. Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese. You, you have no idea. Bring them to Chuck E. Cheese. That mounts starts dancing. That those kids are fucking uh, dialed in. That's so not anyway, what you're gonna say. no. Bummer. For Christmas Eve, my dad would always do this. For some reason, my dad has just just pure evil mm. pleasure in this. You're Santa's helper. He loves to do it to me and my sister, and we hate that fucking shit. We what? do like we have to like, put on elf hats. Like he dresses as Santa. Hand, no, no, no. No, no, no. He doesn't. He dresses in like it's my dad. He wears a bathing suit and a T-shirt. Uh-huh. But he wants us to be Santa's helper, wear the elf hats, uh-huh. and then pass around the presents. And every year now he keeps doing this. He's like, "You're Santa's helper." I'm like, "Dad, I'm not doing Santa's helper." And thankfully, like I said, the niece comes right in, and goes, "I'm Santa's helper." And thankfully, that's what happens. But there is every Christmas Eve. Oh, you're we like all f- way too old. For we this. Are, it, thank you. <laughs> it's exactly why I say you should just, I am not uh, Santa's helper. I'm way too old for this. And my dad just gets a shitting grin on his face because he loves watching my sister and me fight over not doing it. We're like, Dad, we're not doing that. You Come should on, go. On, you dude. should go full on Will Ferrell this year and just start acting like Elf. Oh my God! And then, and You're then, see if your dad right. wants you to do that again next year. I should probably do that. Darina, any bizarro traditions? Um, not so much bizarro, but uh, we, we, my nieces are fifteen and thirteen years old, and I'm pretty are you a sure. Good aunt? I think I'm an excellent aunt. I'm pretty sure that I'd be a horrible aunt, but I'm good at aunt. I think that my brother still thinks they believe in Santa Claus. <laughs> Because I think, and I think it's like, a, I don't know if, I don't know if they believe that or, or I think he wants them to, but they, we still do the thing where it's like, open your presents and like leave cookies for Santa Claus. And I'm like, they're 15 and 13. Like, I'm pretty sure they know, but I don't know if it's like a cute thing where it's like, no, no, they're still kids. Do you it's eat really the weird. cookies so that they think Santa Yeah. Can? So we eat the cookies and we drink a little bit of the milk. So, cause that's been a tradition in our household since we were kids. It's like, oh, Santa's coming. Right. Yeah. So we're leaving. Where's that milk one come from? I have no idea. Milk maybe, and I cookies. Think, like, why does Santa like milk so much? Or do you think that's cookies. for the reindeer? Maybe. No, reindeer. You leave a carrot. Oh, that's right. It's for the Seems like he has mommy issues or something. Who? Santa. Probably. Um, I'm sure. 
there's another. I don't know. Oh, maybe, you know, I you think, like to. I think, I, 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 I think it's a caller. I think it's a caller. You're on. I, I so. want to get to you though, John. Caller, no, you're on Collider not. Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I got through. This is Bruce Crawford from Augusta, Texas. Nice. Hey, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. What's up, Bruce? Bruce, do you know that <laughs> this is a Christmas miracle right now that you caught through? <laughs> Right, I love y'all so much. All of y'all, like Aww. I love watching y'all every day. I'm such a huge fan, and I look up to y'all. And I just, I don't know, I'm kind of nervous right now talking to y'all. You are <laughs> killing it right now. You Bruce, are. you're the coolest. Thank Thanks you. for and saying that. And we are all nervous all the time, so you are good. Yeah. Uh, talk to us about. Oh, thank what, you. Did you have any question for us? Something you wanted to talk to us about on this Christmas? Yeah, it's, it's, it's it's a weird question, but I I don't really have any close friends, but I just kind of want help. I'm doing a nine movie Star Wars marathon yes. this Wednesday, Thursday in Dallas, Texas and Ooh. I just didn't know what snacks I should bring because I'm going to be in the uh, theater for like 20 hours so. Wow. All right. All, All right. right. Bruce, very can... very fair question. We can definitely break this down for you right now. Also, by the point that you are, people are listening to this, Bruce has already done this movie marathon mm-hmm. and eaten those snacks. So mm-hmm. really, we're predicting the future right now we by are. talking about the past. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. We got to go back uh, in time. All right, guys, uh, movie snacks that Bruce should be having. Thank you so much for the call, Bruce. Really appreciate it. Drina? Uh, well, my go-to as a kid was always, uh, you guys are going to gr- be grossed out, but raisinets and popcorn. Mm. Do you put the raisinets I, in the I'm popcorn? I'm not grossed yes. at all. That's like a very classic thing to okay, do. Good. I do it all yeah. the time. Some yeah. people think, but some people think here's, raisins are gross. No, yeah. Here's the deal, though. Well, that's true, you, and I do. What you have to do is get the hot popcorn, though, because yeah. if, it's yes. not, if it's not melty, Definitely. fuck that. Right. Yeah, I agree. So the And then a red pop- cherry icy. That's my favorite. Ooh, mm, good. I like that. Mm, mm. Those will kill you. Yes. <laughs> I'm slowly trying those to will, do those that. Those will legitimately murder you. <laughs> That's it, I have never, ever good. seen something with as many grams of sugar in it as those have. Yeah. When mm. when we go to the theaters and people have, like, the largest of those, like, that is an actual heart attack in a, in a glass. Yep. Enjoy it because it's Christmas, but do not make a habit of it. Those things are really bad for I you. I mean, it's basically like a soda, but way worse. Because right? sodas worse. are really bad. Way worse. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Way worse. Mm-hmm. So big. Also, so nachos. Much. Nachos are always a great snack. Hot dog is is my go to. Mm. Popcorn always. I do what you do, but with peanut M and M's, I do. Th- I throw good. those in uh, with the popcorn. Sometimes though, I change it up and I do milk duds mm. with the popcorn, which I enjoy. And then sometimes milk duds with popcorn so good, right? Holy crap! But oh, then it they just get stuck in my corn. teeth. Though. No, you gotta melt them. Yep, dude. Yep. Mm, what did I, I have say? Not done that. Okay. I so a hot, hot dog, popcorn. <laughs> Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You with me? Mm-hmm. And, yes, uh, obviously. And the uh, uh, either milk duds or the peanut M and M's are my go-to. Mm. They're yummy. John, I do the Nestle Crunch mm. in the popcorn. Those are good. Too. Yes, See, what I've Roxy done that said. too. That's the Crunch really a bunch too. or whatever they're called. Yeah, Crunch a bunch or whatever. Yeah. I, I'm I'm super anal about popcorn now. Like I as soon I will put my hand on it. If it's not warm enough, I will give it back to them. And go, you give me a warm one, and I will wait till they pop it again. To have a bag. Wait, let me ask so you this my chocolate will question, Darina, because you're talking about Roka being really picky about your popcorn. Yep. And I just remember my brother's wife, so my sister-in-law, um, is from Mexico. And she says that their popcorn, it, like you could get sweet popcorn, you can get, spi- like it, mm-hmm. when you go to the movies, there's like 15 kinds of popcorn. It's not just regular popcorn. You order like a type of popcorn. Well, it's, She's from Mexico City. I don't know if that's different. I think it depends on the theater. Like we have this chain that now it actually is here called Tinepolis. And oh, yeah. um, and that's basically like our AMC, you know. Mm. But uh, but it's fan- some of them are fancier, and like you can order food and- inside, like actual mm. food. But the popcorn thing that some theaters do here, like I guess you uh, City Walk does this, right, where yeah. they have popcornopolis and they have like caramel and stuff like that. I think we started that, but with all the powder that you can add to yeah. it, like mm. like nacho cheese flavored popcorn. That's what right? she's like. There's all flavored popcorn. Yeah. I'm like, wow. Yeah. We we gotta get on that life. I mean, it's not pretty, the cheese part. AMC has good. like four or five. Mm. Mm. Right, they have like cheese, I didn't know that. caramel, and <laughs> something else, and the regular popcorn. But the problem is when you get that, that stuff comes in a bag and it's been sitting there for quite some time. Yeah, yeah So yeah. when you get it, it can be very hard. Sometimes. And then You're you like, can be gross like point. me, and when it's over, you just like lick the salt from the bottom of the bag. <laughs> I know it's Christmas, so I'm supposed to be grateful and shit. But what I will say is, guys, this is only going to make sense to anybody sitting in this room or or Los Angeles space. The Grove fucks up their popcorn, man. Yo, their popcorn tastes stale mm-hmm. nine out of ten times. Oof. What's Why going on there? Plus, I've so been you're a... talking about Pacific Theaters? Yeah, I'm not talking about Pacific Theaters in general. Talking I'm talking about, about the Grove. About the, Grove. Oh. the Grove specifically. Their popcorn yeah. is stale. Do you know I've been at the Grove 
two times where they have set fire to their popcorn, yeah, yeah, yeah. where we've had to be evacuated. So maybe that's <laughs> what <laughs> is going on there. I don't, they don't know how to do their popcorn. They don't know how to do their popcorn. I don't think they're paying these kids enough. Probably. Mm, probably and not. And so yeah. they're not paying as much attention because also it's one of the worst kept counters ever. I've ever seen it. It any is the so other, slow to yeah, get to. The, the, slow. I love the Grove yeah, because the great. It, it's my, my local pl- it's so hard mm-hmm. to go and go to the movies there. The, guys. Yeah, it really is. I don't. Yeah. I, it's so crowded there all the time. When do you go where it's, when it's not crowded? Yeah, don't go around the Christmas because everybody the is going. Is yeah, so it is Like crowd. evening, like mm-hmm. like Tuesday or whatever. They want to yeah. see that fountain, the, the, the tourists. Yeah. I used to live a they block love that. from the Grove, like right across from CBS. News. Were you the Park La Brea places? No, no, the other oh. side. Oh. For eight years, like by the bagel broker and yeah, shit yeah. over there. So I'd walk over because... Yeah. The driving to drive to the Grove. You gave me your parking spot yeah, once, and yeah. that saved our I life. Remember. No kidding, yep. man. It's ridiculous. The Grove in there. is nuts. Uh, going See? back to joy, the, joy, joy. Going yeah. back to the food thing. If you're gonna be in, Fair. if you're gonna be in for 20 hours, you gotta for sure bring your own stuff because you, you'll yeah. end up dropping so much money. And uh, you can't just live off of popcorn. No. <laughs> so like, I'm I'm just gonna be the person who says it. I know you guys don't like to hear it. I'm gonna be the person who says it. You should bring some power bars, man. Yeah. Mm. You, should, you know, no, you should bring, bring some sandwiches. You should bring some nuts oh yeah sandwich. bring some protein the sandwich Wine. thing you're, is smelly but you're talking you about you want to be respectful but you're talking about like boring snacks like you're talking about like I know. adult snacks I, I know i know i'm you being should, that person yeah i know no. i would bring like maybe some like you know for lunch you gotta have your sandwiches you for a, later orange, you bring your tacos a banana like, yeah my mom used to make just the being hot honest. dogs yeah. and okay. wrap them in foil and bring mm-hmm. them to the theater Same. Hot dogs are so good, and dude. Like with the bun, so when they come out, they're like nice oh, and, and they're like still the warm. Yeah, warm. Cody, I'm favorite hungry. movie snack? Uh, I'm a sour patch guy. No, yeah, I'm Ooh, thinking like I, I like sour, sour patch. patch okay. Okay. Yeah, Cody. Every wow. once in a while, need some of those. They're good. Alex, uh, I'm a popcorn boy. ArcLight Hollywood has the best popcorn in the town. Agreed. Mm. I okay. agree with that. Gotta get that butter Brophy. layered, though. The la- yeah. th- that's pretty good, but the Landmark Theater's on Pico, my favorite so theater. Good too. Okay. So yeah. good, too. So good. I love it there. Yeah. I love it's it there. It's my favorite Ranch theater. Sauce. Yo, I, and I will say, last time I was at the Grove, um, there was a guy who came up to me. Get it right <laughs> next What's time. What's going on? Are you you, you, guys, are, you guys doing you guys okay over there? Yeah, we're just trying to clarify Alex's error. It's really embarrassing. You call it sauce. Was Alex wrong again? Yeah. It's yeah, clearly a powder in your yeah. Oh, powder, right. Yeah, powder. I was wondering, Idiot. you dip popcorn in ranch? Is that what you do? <laughs> no, it's the ranch powder. The ranch Have powder, you had got it, yes. Oh, I and drenched my popcorn in that. It's so uncomfortable. With the powder, no, not like a... Drench like a Not the sauce. ranch. Correct. I love it when So, the drenches. last time I was at the Grove, oh, there was a, a guy there who was a Collider Live fan, so mm-hmm. I like him. Uh, caller, you're on Collider Live. <laughs> What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello? Hello. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm calling from uh, Memphis. This is Sean. And I think the best time to go to a movie is on Sunday. But a lot of people will be at church that Sunday, so you can get, you get in early and uh, popcorn. Uh, well, we have Michael Theater in Memphis here. So we can get uh, chicken tenders, uh, oh, yeah. fries. Yeah, nice Wait, Sean, i got to be uh, honest. Wait, are you saying right now on Christmas you're going to the movies to get chicken tenders? No, I'm, I'm saying this kind of food they got down there. Because some of uh, Michael Theater that have grills. And uh, they serve wine, food, anything like that on, on uh, uh, in a movie theater. Uh, that's the that's, that's kind of food they have down here. I do have a question about Star Wars. I, 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 Brother, I can't understand a word you're saying. Can you enunciate a little bit more? <laughs> I love that accent of yours, but we're having trouble hearing it over the phone. No offense. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. better. You guys hear me? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, we have Michael Theater here in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Okay. Uh-huh. And they have grills here. Yeah, we had a grill. They serve wine. Creole. They serve uh, beer. Mm. Uh, they had chicken tenders, fries, nice. turkey but burgers. But do you ever think, do you guys ever think, because I like that too, and there's theaters that are doing all this stuff now, but sometimes I go to the movies and people are chewing so fucking loud yeah. that I cannot hear the movie. That's fair. Because they have like goddamn yeah, feasts. Actually, they're talking in the whole movie. That's, that's what they did. And they bring the kids and the babies. Mm. That's, yeah, that's and you order right during the theater too. You, they'll say like, "Yeah, and I'm gonna take a California roll." Yo. No, I, no, a California <laughs> roll. It's like mother, f- like, well, you're screaming. It, somebody's you're talk- screaming. I, I qu- but if you know you're going to a theater like that, that's what happens. I guess, Sean. What's your yeah. question, yeah. man? Okay, I do have a question about Star Wars. Uh, Star Wars and Star Trek. Uh, if this is the last, if this is the last movie, or uh, they're gonna wait like five more years and make another one. And do you think that Disney might buy Star Trek in a couple of years if the, if the franchise does not you know, come out in the movie? Like, 
as it could as it been uh, last year. I think Disney might buy it. Sean, is your question, will Disney buy Star Trek? Okay, I'm sorry. Do you think Disney might buy Star Trek in a couple of years if they don't no. be successful in a country year? It's about four or five years. You know, it's, if, they, if Star Wars in, no more Star Wars, they might try to find a franchise like Star Trek and try and buy that and try and do the same thing. Sean, thank you so much for the question and the call in general. Really appreciate it. Roka, you have a strong reaction to this. Yeah, I don't think so. I, you can't no, own both. No. Yeah. That just That's wrong. No, but it's they, like, they yeah. own Star Wars and they own Lucasfilm and Marvel. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. yeah but they're not. They're yeah. not both spaces. I thought you meant in like you can't own that many franchises. Oh no, you can. Yeah, they can. I don't think you meant physically can't. I you don't cross the streams, dog. You don't cross Star Wars. Well, and Star Trek. also That's we're talking about state. two conglomerates here. Yeah. We're talking Viacom Paramount with Star too, Trek. But, you know. Star Trek. Star Trek is underneath a huge banner yes. of Paramount, Viacom, all There's that. No so they're Paramount's not. They're not going to sell that right now. CBS is. I know. Exploring it. We're all saying no, but. I would say never, never say, say never, never. Right. not Especially in the next with two Disney. years, but never say never that Disney won't buy shit. Exactly, well, I, never say never. Yeah. What if Dis- What if Disney were to buy another big studio like they did with Fox? It could happen. I hope it doesn't. They but could, it could buy Paramount. Probably. That's what I mean. F that. Oh, no. Do you guys ever drive by Paramount and yes. feel like it just? I don't know. It feels like the least lively of the studio. Every time it's I drive cool by, inside. it feels like a, I love Paramount, yeah. but every time I drive by, it feels like a ghost town a little bit. It's right. on Melrose. It's like so far up. The You're also by the Hollywood too. Forever yeah. Cemetery. Yeah. By so Western. Technically too. a ghost town. Yeah, but when yeah. you buy Western, yeah. things go to die by Western. <laughs> <laughs> wow. LA. The people so, not in LA right now are like, what are, hell are they talking about Western during Abbey. the Christmas okay. episode? Well, I guess we'll take one more call before we wrap if we have one, Cody. <laughs> Caller, you're on Collider Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? So good. Hey, guys. It's Josh from Florida. Hey, Josh. Josh, I hope that right now I am where you are. That's good. That's where good. are you? At Collider Live? Or? No, I'm just hoping by Christmas I, I've made it. This is currently December 24th. That's Christmas Eve, right? Oh, yeah. Yes. You are you are oh, in correct. the future right now, Sean. December 24th. I hope that I'm in Florida. Well, uh, Josh, no, what's going on? What do you got for us? I want to know: Have you guys watched? Uh, have you guys watched the Imagineering story on Disney Plus yet? Oh. I have I, not. Oh, it's I want awesome. to. Yeah, I hear it's great. Cody, did you say it's awesome? Yeah, I it love is. it. I'm four episodes in. It's amazing. It's my favorite thing on Disney Plus right now. Oh, Drina, it's, it's, you're a, it's it the also? only thing I care about. On, uh, like, really, to get Disney Plus because my friend showed it to me a little bit, and it it's my jam. It's like the type of stuff that you used How to far watch. In are you? Just one episode. Oh. but like, it's it reminds me of like being a kid and watching the Disney Channel and oh, actually watching yeah. them like behind the scenes at Disneyland. Like, it's like documentary style that you would want to watch. It's really cool. John, have you checked it no, out? No, no, not at all. I didn't even know it was on there. I mean, I this wow. is. Uh, somebody told me this the other day. I didn't know it either. I'm excited to check it out now. Yeah. How long is each episode? About I don't an know, hour. like an, an hour, hour maybe, Cody? Less, maybe less. Forty minutes. Do they maybe? tackle a Do they tackle a movie or a decade or a time? Like, what do they tackle? It's about the creation of all the parks and stuff. Right. Oh, so it's like the history of Disneyland. Well, how many episodes is it? Uh, I think there are like five right now. That's inc- oh, so know. it keeps going. It could yeah, keep yeah, going. Yeah, it's every week. Fascinating. Yeah. Josh, thank you so okay. much for the call. Really appreciate it. Okay. Uh, I will say that I did dabble in my first thing that was not uh, Lady and the Tramp or Mandalorian on Disney Plus, which was Jeff Goldblum's show, mm. World According to Jeff Goldblum. Have you guys seen it at all? Yeah, yet? I watched the first episode. The sneaker one? It. Yeah. That's what I watched too. It was great. I- I, I really could watch him do anything. Yep, mm-hmm. same. I'm going to watch him live soon. Or I already watched him live at the Rockwell. Ooh. Oh, is he playing piano? Yeah, yeah nice. but like he goes with his band, like I think once a month or something like that, mm-hmm. but it sells out right away and my husband got tickets. Mm-hmm. Damn. Pretty excited. So the show's good, though. It is. The show is, I don't know if it's good. I love watching him. <laughs> right. I, yeah. I, I, right. I honestly don't know how to answer that question because like maybe the show isn't good. Right. Do you know the, the opening where he's just kind of walking in the alleyway mm-hmm. and he's just... Yeah. Remember my story of seeing him? Yeah, at that's Rite him Aid? at Rite Aid. That's exactly what he does. That's so I'm awesome. wondering if he was actually filming that. Yeah. <laughs> when I ran into him at Rite Aid. Turn the camera on. I'm okay. uh, uh, here. He, he does this thing in the middle of the episode. I guess this is a spoiler for the first episode of Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where he is, they're trying to like fit him for sneakers, so they're making him run. Okay. And he <laughs> he cannot. No. <laughs> He can't. He what did they say? You're galloping or like whatever. He they were like a little less bounce, and he was like, "What?" Like he could not run. But does he still look cool even while not being able to run properly because it's Jeff Goldblum? It's not cool. It's great. Like right. he looks great. Yeah. I want to do what he. He's like float. He's 
it's like a kangaroo the way he moves he's just wow. hopping and, and you want to go from phoebe they, like to yeah, kangaroo they, running i know i'm not one to talk about running right. but th- when they're saying to him like no actually just a little less hop and he's like okay and then he does the exact same thing again it's not a bit like he can't run it was truly baffling to watch and so entertaining uh anything else you guys are watching on disney plus no well i didn't see it yet. i didn't see it it's, so it's the Christmas movie, obviously. So is it? If you like Christmas movies, this one is. Is great. it a romantic comedy? No, is no, because it's brother it? and sister, and oh. like. She, uh, oh, it's the Anna Kinder. Yeah, one? yeah. Have Bill you Hader seen is Star Wars? <laughs> Fair. Mm. <laughs> Only the first one. Uh-huh. Bill Hader or Game uh, of Thrones. Yeah. Bill Hader doesn't want to be Santa Claus, uh, and Anna's like trying to make this happen, and it's obviously. It's kind of like kind of the plot of Aquaman, where right, it's right. really her who should be running things, mm. not uh, not Arthur. And right. so you get that in, in, in through it. But it's very sweet. And Klaus is great, too, on Netflix. I've heard that Klaus also. Klaus is great. I, yeah, that, I so. enjoyed that. Yeah. Okay, well. So there's maybe. Christmas movies for you there, Dorina. I guess. We'll Klaus, see. I think you'll like because it's old school animation. It's, it's, like, it's set in like Germany in mm-hmm. the early 1900s. Yes. It's the beginning of the Santa Claus myth. Mm-hmm. I am down and for so that. He's this it's really good. Dude with this large beard. It's and in Germany. He, in the I think it's Germany or Russia. Some, so it's some, more like yeah. like old school animation. Yes, not old school animation. Okay, I'm into yeah. that. I think you'll like it. Okay, why I'll is, check it out. Why does Santa live in Germany? You know, Krampus. Santa's story comes up with a number of, from different places. Isn't that where Krampus is too? Though, yeah. Isn't, isn't, yeah. Isn't, yeah. isn't doesn't he always live at the pole? Uh, <laughs> well, this is the. I think the legend is. Yeah. Of San- Santa we, started right in Germany. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, we can I ask my know. family since they still believe in Santa Claus. So I can ask them. Hey, yeah, Santa, Santa wasn't. Like, Santa's <laughs> Leaving cookies building. and milk. Oh no, that doesn't. Oh. Have, link to the Great Depression. Oh. During oh about the cookies and milk. During this time, it's believed that parents wanted to inspire their children to share with others to help them do this. They would leave snacks out for Santa. But is Santa German? Mm. I, Questions for I a, don't know. Questions for a different show because we do have to get out of here, guys. But like I said again, I. What to say he is? Saint Nicholas. Yeah, but what does that mean? Germany. What is him being Saint Nicholas mean? He's German. The name Santa Claus of all from Nick's Dutch name Sinterklaas. Yeah. Sure. There you go. All right, we still didn't figure it out, but that's yeah. fine. I hope that everybody at home right now, wherever you're watching this, that you are surrounded by people that you love, and uh, food even if that, that just love. means yourself and and love yourself today. Family, friends, whoever you got, animals, food. It's a really important one. Uh, Darina, thank you for being here. Merry Christmas Feliz to you. Feliz Navidad. Play some good music in it, Chris, during Christmas. Is it offensive for me to say Merry Christmas to you? No. Feliz, you can say Feliz Navidad. <laughs> well, just because you don't like Christmas. So yeah. should I say I hope But you I do like Christmas the Feliz Navidad way. song by Jose Feliciano. So it's Respect. a great song. Okay. Mark yeah. Riley, merriest of Christmases. Merriest of Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. The first person to tell me that this year. Happy yeah. Hanukkah. There we My go. My friend, happy Hanukkah. John Roca, officially your last Collider Live of 2019. Yeah. Happy thank Hanukkah. you so much for being here. Thank you. And uh, if I could piggyback on Roxy's. I know the holidays are the toughest time for a lot of people. Please do what you can do to get through the holidays because all of us want to see you in the new year back listening and watching us on Collider Live. So please, whatever you need to do, listen to old episodes of us to help you laugh. Yeah, we will be back. I agree with that. Whatever you got to do, whatever it takes. Cody Hall, Merry Christmas to you. Hey, thank you. Happy holidays, Your Roxy. Your first Christmas with your babe. Oh, Woo. it's going to be so adorable. Look out for the pictures. Oh, oh we no will. Do. I oh, absolutely will. will. Alex Marzonia, uh, at the end, you really did make me happy. Thank you, Alex, and Merry Christmas. The best Christmas or Hanukkah gift. That's going to get clipped out also. I'm Roxy Stryer. <laughs> Thanks for watching Collider Live. Merry Christmas, and we'll see you guys for New Year's. <laughs> <laughs>